In chapter 3, we're going to numerically summarize data. Now, numerically is pretty easy. It means we're going to use numbers, right? So n numerical numbers. And we're going to summarize our data. So that means that we're going to um, inform or uh, find values that describe our data set. That's a better way to put it. All right, so we're going to find values that describe our data set. Now, the first one we're going to begin with is in section 3.1. We're going to find the measures of center, right? Central tendency, which is a fancy way of saying the middle, the center. That's what we're going to find, right? So central tendency, let me switch colors here, will be the middle, right? The center. In other words, also known as the average. So when you hear average, right, you should think the middle, right, the center. Now, there's one average that most people think of when they think of average. As a matter of fact, it's the one that, for example, the average command in Excel, so if you, if you know anything about Excel, you know that if you type average, it wants a particular one. And the one that it's usually doing is this one, the arithmetic mean. The arithmetic mean is the one that most students think of when they think of average. It's the one where you add them all up and divide by how many there are, right? Okay, but that's not the only average. Average could actually mean one of any number of things. There's actually several types of average, quote unquote. We're only learning three of them here. So the mean, in particular the arithmetic mean, there is there are other kinds of means, but this is the one we're, we're doing. Um, it's the one where you add them up and divide. Then there's the median. Right, which you've probably seen in another class. You've probably seen all three of these, to be honest with you, in some class somewhere in your life. Right? So the median is the numerical value that separates the lower half from the upper half. So it's the middle value when you put your data set in order. Um, when the data are in order. Right, from lowest to highest, right, from low to high, or I guess you could say lowest to highest. All right, and then the mode, the mode is the value that has the highest frequency. So it's, it's in other words, it's the one that occurs the most often. So it'll have the highest count occurs the most often. You've actually already run into this before because we talked about in chapter 2 the modal class. So modal class is the class that is the mode. So let me just also recall modal class is the class that has the highest frequency. or count, because that's what frequency is. You're counting how many fall into each category or each group. OK, so let's find the mean, median, mode for a data set. And I have a data set, and I've actually uploaded it already onto StatCrunch for us to look at, um, of pet data. Now, if we were in a class together, of course, we could do this together. But we're going to use the data from a class of mine from a few years ago. These were real students. They were in a building in Jackson, Michigan, and they told me how many pets they had, and these are their numbers. I'm trying not to mess any up as I go. And there they are. Okay, well, there they are. So that's a listing. Lovely. Now we're going to rearrange this data set in order. So there are six zeros, so one, two, three, four, five, six. There are five ones, five twos, five threes. Yes, this was a real class. This is what, this is just what happened that day. Um, four, five, two sixes, and an eight. 
that's the data in ascending order. Now, ascending is referring to what we need to have to, in order to find the mode. Ascending order means from lowest to highest, what we wrote up above. So I'm putting them in order so that I can find the median by hand. Medians by hand is not something we generally do a lot of, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to do it once just to see how it works, <laughs> right? Okay, so there's 26 numbers here. So the median will be the number that has 13 below it and 13 above it. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so there's 13 numbers here from this point over. There's 13. And there's 13 numbers here. So the median is the halfway spot between these two values. Now, they're both 2's, so this is really boring. You just take 2, you add 2, and you divide by 2. When you look at what this says, it says um, it's the numerical value separating the lower half from the upper half. So when it's a value in between two values, when it's the space in between, you just add up those two values and divide by 2, which is going to be 2. So the median is 2. Now, just so you can see, if it had been here, if it had been between the 1 and the 2, that would have been 1.5, right? Because 1.5 is halfway between 1 and 2. Similarly, if it had been here, between 2 and 3, that would have been 2.5. But it just didn't work out that way. It's between a 2 and a 2, therefore the median is 2. All right? Now, in general, we're not going to find the mean by hand, for sure. And the median, we don't usually find by hand. The mode, we could do right now, because the mode is the one that occurred the most often. So that's pretty easy. So median, oh, I wrote it wrong. Sorry. I like to do the mean first. All right, so mean, median, and mode. All right. Well, the mode is easy. There were more zeros than anything else. Therefore, the mode is zero pets, right? Zero has the highest frequency. Okay, well, the mean and the median, we're not going to do by hand. So let's do it with stack crunch. Oh, I'm just going to make a note for us so we know why zero was chosen. Again, usually you're not required to do that, but just in case, there you have it. Okay, so I have uploaded this data set into StatCrunch, so you can all access it if you want. You can type it in yourself if you so desire. So let me show you how to do this. So in StatCrunch, down here where it says data sets, there are publicly available data sets. Now I've made this data set available. So if you click on data sets and you type pet data, there it is. It's AJ Tucky, that's me. There you go. You can click on that one. And there it is. There's the data set. It's in order. And then, all right, now we need a path. That's what's really important for us in StackCrunch. We have to know what path we use to get what we want. To find the mean and the median, and actually most of the things for this chapter, we're going to go to the same place. You have a data set, and then you go to Stat, Summary Stat, Columns. Now, I'm actually not clicking on those things. I actually am just letting my mouse hover, my cursor hover over it, and it's moving in the spot that I want. <laughs> so stat, summary, stat, columns, and when I get to columns, then I'm going to click. And then it wants the pet data, so I have to tell it what column, which I only have one column. It's the pet data, so I just click that. And now down here, I want the particular values that I want. It gives me a bunch of them. See the blue ones that are highlighted when I go down here? Those ones are automatically put over here. But those aren't the ones I want. I mean, they're some of the ones I want. I want the mean right here. So I'm going to click on the mean, and it instantly changes to the mean. And then I want to scroll down a little bit to the median. Now, if I click median, it, it erases the mean and goes to the median. So that's no good. So you want the mean, click mean. And you want to scroll down, and then when you see the median, you want to hold down your control button and click. It's saying it to me. See that yellow bit that's written right below where my cursor is, right below the median and range? It says select more than one item with either shift click or control click. Shift click selects all of the ones between. Here, let me just show you. So if I hold down shift and click, it selects all of them between median and median. If I hit mean and then hit control click, then it selects just the mean and the median. That's what we want. 
All right. And then I want to scroll down to the very, very bottom. So I'm just using that little gray bar and I'm kind of pushing it down. At the very bottom is mode. I'm not holding my control button anymore. So now I want that mode. So I hit hold down my control button. I'm just holding it and pressing it down. And I click on mode and there it has all three. Mean, median, mode. And then I click compute. And there you have it. And you can see the mode is what we said it was. It's zero. The median is two, just like we said. And the mean is 2.27 pets. All right, so let's say that. So this is 2.27 pets. This was two pets. Now let's write down the stat crunch path for ourselves, because that's the kind of thing that we definitely need to remember for later on. So stat crunch path. The data set's not important because, you know, you can build the data set yourself or, you know, sometimes you don't have the data set given to you like we did here. But we went to stat, summary stat, columns. And then we selected the things that we wanted right from there. But the path is kind of the most important thing because if you can get to the right spot, right, if you can get to stat, summary stat, columns, usually when you're in this window you can remember, oh right, click the data up here, mean, median, scroll all the way down, mode. There you have it. And I'm using control click to do that. But if you want to write those instructions for yourself as well, feel free. I am going to take a moment now to show TI Smart View people if you're using that calculator how to do it. But if you're not using the TI Smart View, you can skip ahead to the next video. Or excuse me, the TI calculator. I'm going to use an emulator. All right, so if you're going to use the TI, um, I kind of have one here electronically. <laughs> so you go to Stat, Edit, and you're just going to have to type these data sets in. There's no way. Oop. Oh, and I'm typing too fast for it. It doesn't like how fast I'm typing. Um, let me type in all these data. I'm going to pause and I'll be right back. I'm going to put all these data in. So stat, edit, type in all the data. All right, I have those data typed in. So now I'm going to hit stat, move to the right with my arrow to calculate. Pick number one, one variable stat. L1 was where I put the data. That's list one. So I'm just going to go down to the bottom to calculate. The mean is up at the top. It's the X bar. So 2.269 is the mean. The median is hidden right now. That's what that downward arrow means. So if I hit the downward arrow, there's the median is 2. And you'll notice something's missing. The mode. That's because the TI calculator does not find the mode. So the TI calculator will only find the mean at the very top and the median right there, close to the bottom. And that's it.